So I get one in full kit. Yep. Well, just run me through what you'd expect to see when we start the day. Um, well, prior to doing any, anything, you'd expect someone to have properly fitting PPE. Yeah. Yep. Well, and what's properly fitting PPE according to Dragonfly? Um, well, safety standards, absolute uh, necessities, chaps. Yep. Um, helmet, ear protection, and some form of eye protection. Um, safe boots. So, still cap boots are a must. Um, and that's probably it for the required PPE. Do we need to wear gloves or...? No, they're, they're, not, they're an optional thing. We would wear gloves a lot of the time because we're dealing with lantana, we're dealing with herbicides. So if we're cutting and poisoning using chainsaws, then we'll use gloves by all means because we're handling chemicals. So that's okay. a, a dragonfly policy. So that's not Great. Um, if we're just dropping timbers and, and dry logs like that, I'd probably not, um, use, not use gloves. Yeah. So I've got chainsaw gloves um, that I use that just basically protect the top of your hand. Uh huh. Um, and they're, they're, the palm of them are very thin and they're, um, I don't really use them for herbicide use. Um, they've got holes in them so your hands breathe so they don't sweat. Uh, you wouldn't wear anti vibration gloves or anything because yeah. they're, they're, um, they make your hand grip um, not so secure. Yeah, right. Um, but you can, get, you can get specialty chainsaw gloves if you're doing a lot of work. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's pretty much just our black nitrile gloves that Great. are supplied. And what? At the black, sorry, the black nitrile gloves. <clears throat> if it's a little bit wet, they can get quite slippery, which could also be a bit of a hazard um, in wet weather and things like that. Um, your basic kit that you need to sharpen everything. Yeah. Um, so this should always come in the truck. They used to be in the chainsaw kits, but they're not anymore. So one supervisor should have, or any supervisor should have a, a full kit in their car um, at any, any given time, so that you're expected to use the saw. Um, now with that, you've got your flat file for the bar and um, the top part of the filing teeth, which we'll go through later. Um, your scrunch, a flat head scrunch, so you can adjust the tension on the chain. Um, and your sharpening file that is the correct size for your chain. So if you use the wrong size sharpening file for your chain, you, you basically won't sharpen it at all and you do more damage to the chain. Um, the number for these sharpening files is on the bottom of the file and that will coincide with the, the size chain that you have. Um, the numbers are usually just here. I can get you a, a better example of that because that one's a bit rusty. But this so playing really, with the zoom. It's really important to have the right size file. If you see that there, that's five and thirty-two. Oh, I can't get see? the zoom happening. Okay, it's too small. No worries. <laughs> it's, a good, um, it's on autofocus. It it is, but I I don't know if I'm. Chris has shown me a few things. But I might have to put it on um, the little that thing that's macro, so that.